federal grant will help fight crime in six targeted communities in North Baton Rouge. That's the idea anyway. Jaron Jordan live this morning with the details on what this is all about. Jaron, good morning to you. Great. Hey, good morning to you, Matt and Lauren. Uh, a lot more activity here outside of Capitol High as school gets uh, underway in just a couple of hours tonight. A little bit of a different crowd as the school is the site of the first of three public meetings to address a federal grant that will help fight crime in six communities around North Baton Rouge. Those six communities include uh, Struma, Midtown, Eden Park, the Greenville Extension, Smiley Heights, and Melrose East. You know, crime is not a new phenomenon here in Baton Rouge, and really violent scenes have played out far to uh they're, they're far too common. So as city parish leaders and now federal officials look to see uh, some of the problems that lead to these uh, violent scenes, they've identified issues like blight, a lack of youth activities and programs, uh, a lack of collaboration among residents and community organizations. So this federal grant really hopes to eliminate some of those problems by doing things like providing after school activities, uh, worker training and other things like that. So these meetings uh, that start tonight and will last over the next week and a half or so uh, hope to educate the public. They're the family fun night meetings. They hope to educate the public on how this federal grant will be used to fight crime in these communities. That first meeting happening again tonight here at Capitol High School at five o'clock. The next meeting is uh, Monday at Brex Park on Donmore, and then the final meeting will be March 30th at four o'clock at Brex Gus Young Park. All the information on those meetings on our website, WAFB.com.